stranger on the Gateway Arch grounds, but he walks on four legs instead of two. <laughs> Steve Harris introduces us to Gus. If you've been to the Arch grounds, you've probably seen the park rangers. Well, take a look at the first ever bark ranger. His name is Gus. He's 10 years old. Unlike his human counterparts, he has no hat or gun, but sports a really snazzy bandana, or neckerchief as it were. They gave it to him today. So you're asking Steve, what's a bark ranger? Well, I'll tell you. So the Gateway Arch Park Foundation had a photo contest to kick off their partnership with Purina. Now they had several cute entries, as you can see. People voted on their favorite, and Gus got the most votes. Everyone just really loved, you know, showing their support for him. He's He's brought people a lot of joy over the years, and so it's just really nice to, to get some sort of recognition for him. The National Park Service's Bark Ranger program is about promoting safe, responsible pet handling and making canine companions feel welcome on the arch grounds. It just helps people to know that you can bring your pets down, but be sure to bag your waist, be responsible, um, you know, and just be mindful of the national park system as a whole. Gus got a goodie basket from Purina and a congratulatory head scratch or two. Now it's down to business. See, being a bark ranger comes with several duties. He'll be out on the grounds at different events that we host in conjunction with Purina, as well as the face of the program. So if you happen to be on the arch grounds, keep your eyes open for Gus, the bark ranger. <laughs> Steve Harris, News 4.